interesting cult of people because none of us, none of us had parents who said you have to be a dancer. At best, our parents said, if you have to, it's okay. At best. Most people had to really fight. And yet, at 17, 18, people are coming to the city by droves against everything that the people whom they really look up to has said that they should do. And they're doing it anyway. I mean, my parents didn't in any way say, oh yes, she's gonna be a dancer, that's great. They said, you what? No, come on. No. I moved to New York a little over a year ago um, to dance. <laughs> I decided that every dancer should live in New York for a little while. <laughs> well, it was actually, it was, it was hard. I was very determined to come to New York. It had been my plan for a couple of years at least, and I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Well, Lamone, it's, it's very much about releasing into the movement and falling into the movement. And the emphasis isn't so much on how high your leg goes. If you're not communicating as a dancer, I could not care at all how high your leg is. I can't, I don't give a damn. I don't care, I just don't, don't care. And if you're really communicating and your leg doesn't go high, I'll do whatever I can to get it up there for you. One of the company members said to me, you know, you feel like you're always reaching and you're never quite there. Like you always have more room to reach for whatever it is that you're reaching for. And, and then the more you reach for it, the easier it is to go into the next movement and things seem to connect and make sense. Graham Limone and ballet is the perfect combination of information. Limone technique and ballet share a tremendous similarity in line that if you look at the base, the legs of Limon, they're often in very traditional ballet design. His principles are just universal. They make you a better dancer. They make you a Limon dancer, but they can also make you a better dancer regardless of where you are. To me, if you take a Limon class, one Limon class, you get information that will help you enhance any kind of dancing that you're doing. At the heart of the Limon technique is the human body and the natural sort of physical attributes of the human body. So there's a lot of use of uh, breath, weight, giving in to gravity and resisting away. Opposition is a very important part of it. And expressive gesture. Jose was absolutely a expressive mover. In my mind, when, he was a, when I was a student and I was his student, he was just a god. So my primary getting to know Jose really has been as a reconstructor of his work. The first time I reconstructed one of the sections, which was a big group section, I literally was uh, stunned. I thought, oh my God, look at that, because I'd never seen what happened, because you're in the middle running around. And to actually see the architecture, you know, to see how he took masses of people and moved them was mind-boggling. It's magic, it's really magic. Yeah, Risa is, is amazing. I mean, she's such a dynamic teacher and I love that she's not scared to say, you are doing it wrong, because if I am doing it wrong, I want to know, I want to fix it. She'll come up to you and say, you're tilting your pelvis this way, and she's very articulate and it makes it very easy to take in the correction. I am in love with technique and I think technique is our alphabet and then gives us the ability to have a vocabulary. And without that technique, your vocabulary is limited. And once your vocabulary is limited, you don't have many ways of saying something. I, I love it here. I, I finally feel like I have a life and I've settled in and it's great. But I would tell them the truth. I would say, you know, it's, it's not that easy. You know, the city is so big. And I think one gets, I get overwhelmed and I've lived here my entire life. You know, you get overwhelmed by all the things that you can do and should do and will do and won't do. And it's not so hard if you, if you know what it is you want. Even if you say, I don't know yet, that's okay. But you have to know something. And if that's what you know that you don't know, that's fine. I think there is and always has been this belief that New York is the place. I will often tell students, you don't have to do it in New York anymore. There are places all over the world that you can study and you can have careers. They really do have 
good teachers, good companies. Although New York is huge, it is surely not the only place. It's a field full of young, passionate, most often insecure people. It's a field which is very difficult to get old in. It's really an unforgiving field in that way. And because it's really there for the youth, that's what it's there for. We're an interesting, complex being, a dancer. We're willing to go against the norm, yet we're still insecure. And we picked fields that keep us insecure, yet we always fight for what we want. You know, we'll always persevere. You know, the need to do this, the passion to do this, just keeps driving them. Even though, you know, it's very costly, and even though there are very few jobs, and even though this, and even though rents in New York, and even though, and even though, and even though, it happens, you know, it happens in spite of all of those things. They're just driven.